both of you, how do you assess that and the good and bad, whatever in between? <laughs> I think that Minnesota is a really great basketball team, and I think that they are what you consider a playoff team. Um, and I think if you want to be the best or compete with being the best, that's what it looks like. And I think that we got some work to do. So it was a it was a look in the face for us, but it was also a growing moment for us. So we could let it look at it both ways, but we definitely got some work to do. Yeah, I thought we did some we had some moments where we were really good and we had some moments where we weren't as good. Um and a team like this, it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to win the game. I thought Fee was really good. We struggled to kind of find an answer for her and you know, she's one of the best players in the league and arguably one of like the best. Um so uh, I think it's just continuing to get better. Um, I think we could have executed a little bit better on offense, but they're a really good defensive team. So uh, we got a little stagnant. We didn't get out in transition probably as much as we would have liked, but um, we did some good things, but also some some things we can learn from. The second quarter was, was I mean, guys brought yeah. all the way back. Yeah. We're within one. Yeah. It could have been the lead, right? I mean, that's the mm-hmm. positive, I guess, you take from this. Oh, Absolutely. for sure. I think that flow that you saw in the second quarter, if we could piece it, it together for longer stretches, I mean, that would be ideal. <laughs> <laughs> What was the crowd atmosphere like out there? It felt like there wasn't really a home team sometimes. <laughs> the reaction is everyone was getting. <laughs> All girl C squared. She's <laughs> keep, you know. And um, I think she does a really great job of like, you know, I think Kaylin specifically is a household name. And I think that she's going to continue to, you know, bring in the arena and kind of, kind of like put us in a position to have all the fans in the world. So, I mean, I obviously hats off to her, but, you know, I give her grace because it's it's a it's a lot to, to take on. I think she's done a really good job with it. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously a lot of people here that wear fever stuff or wear, you know, Caitlin Clark shirt, whatever, but at the same time, they understand really good basketball and they can appreciate what the Lynx did and who the Lynx are. Um and also their history. Like they know who oh, Maya sure. Moore is. They know, you know, she's one of the best of all time. So they're here to celebrate her and appreciate her too. And um, yeah, I mean, I think you definitely have those loyal Lynx fans. You heard them sometimes too. And then you certainly heard a crowd that just loves basketball and was there to celebrate it. And honestly, it was a great game. Like the offense was great. It was up and down. Both teams were tired. Um, so I think it was just a great display of women's basketball, honestly. What's it like being here on a night where they're celebrating my MOR after how much she meant to you? Mm-hmm. It's 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 awesome. It's cool. Um you know, I think it's it's a great environment for her. She definitely deserves it. And obviously, they had tremendous crowds when she was here playing, um, and they won the finals a few times. And, um, you know, it's cool to play in front of her. Like, she's fourth side, and you look over, like, that's your childhood idol. So you got to pinch yourself a little bit at times and, you know, be thankful for the moment and enjoy it and still compete and be lucky that you get to do this at the highest level. He was out last time you guys played. Yeah, how, how did her being – in the lineup change things. Yes. I mean, she she's the the, the staple team. of their team. Like she yeah. does so much for their team. You know, <laughs> there was a few times she made a few shots and I caught myself like, oh, dang, like you can't guard that. Like and I don't really do that often, but she there was a few times where she made like she made a tough runner, I think, on the left side there in the second half off the off the glass outside the paint. And A B played really good defense. There's nothing you can do but take the ball out and go down the other way and tell her good job. Like you know, there's moments like that in the game. And I thought, you know, she had quite a few of those tonight, but she's been playing really well. Um, and, you know, there were still some things where we could have done a little bit better job on other people when we did take take her away in the half court that kind of killed us. The last one on Zoom, Mike Vopel, go ahead. Yeah, this is just for, um, for Caitlin. Uh, you and Kelsey obviously have been scoring the ball really well, um, really since the the break. Um, and you guys have been rebounding well. You guys, I think, re- won the rebounding battle by 13. Is the is the post scoring something you feel like can um, can come a little bit more, or do you also sort of balance the fact that I mean you're playing the hottest team I think right now in the league? I, I just wonder what your thoughts are on that. Definitely playing the hottest team in the league. Um, I thought that. AB was working really hard on defense, especially when they changed the matchup to her guarding fee, and that can take a lot out of you. Um, so I thought that times that probably, you know, maybe made her a little tired. Um, that's how much attention fee demands, but also AB is, you know, a corner piece of our offense. We have to find a way to get her some easy looks. Like we just, we didn't go to her enough, honestly. And I thought even in the fourth quarter, we sh- we turned away from her. Um, that's who we need to go to. Um, but she was really good. Seven, seven O boards, 15 rebounds total. I thought she played really good defense. Um, 
Um, but when she's, you know, having to exert herself so much on somebody that's, you know, one of the best players in our league, we have to find a way to get her a few more easy looks. Um, I thought we could have done a little bit better, better job there, but um, one of our keys, you know, to the game tonight was to play inside out. I think at halftime we had 26 paint points. I don't know what we finished with, um, but I thought we could have got it in there a little more specifically to